Hi, my name is Mia and with this series, I'm going to make life easier for you. I'll be the one that will help you find all the answers to questions you might still have about coming to Breda and to start your studies at Breda University of Applied Sciences. Think of topics like finding accommodation, opening a bank account, side job, public transport, but of course, I'm also going to show you vibrant Breda and the different Boas buildings. After you watch the series, you are for sure totally ready for your new adventure. Let's go! Hello everyone, welcome! Today I'm going to talk to Pien from the student office uh, about housing in Breda and how to find a good accommodation. Let's go! Hey Mia! Hi! Hey, nice you. to meet you! Take a seat! I just want to ask you like if you could tell me about the housing or accommodation situation in Breda at the moment and like how it works. Sure. Well, Breda has a growing number of students, which is really nice, but unfortunately, accommodation can be scarce. So oh. it can be difficult for students to find a suitable place to live. Okay. The best advice I can give you is to start looking for a room quite early. So okay. if you start your program in September, do start looking for a room around May or June. So a couple months before. Yes, yes. definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we also have a housing Buddy. So we oh. have a colleague here at Buas between mid-June and October and she will help you with finding accommodation. So That's for, very helpful. Yes, definitely, because we know that you're not here yet so she can do viewings if you're not in Breda. It can be difficult to like no, not see the room while exactly. trying you to find You want to see the room before signing a lease contract. But like uh, as a student coming to Breda, what would be like the first step to do when looking for accommodation? Well, we advise you to start by reading our housing manual. That's on the website, right? That's on the website okay. and it's full of tips and tricks. So one of the tips is, for example, to register via Click for Gamers. Okay. This is a joint initiative of three of our housing corporations in Breda. Okay. These are Laurentius, Alwell and Rone Breber. Registration is free of charge and you can okay. find a room on their website. But keep in mind that to apply for a room, you do need a proof of application. So Proof of application to BUAS. To BUAS, oh, yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah. In order to get this, you can always send us an email uh, to studentoffice at buas.nl and then we'll send it to you. Okay. And this is all, of course, on the website as well, like yes. where they can... you can find okay. it in the manual. It's yeah. really helpful. Definitely. But also, uh, a good way to find a student room is via Facebook. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. A lot of students do put their rooms online or also some private homeowners do offer their rooms, student houses, um, apartments or studios. So it's a great way uh, to avoid like high registration fees okay, and yeah. service costs. So that's a really good tip. So just to join a lot of Facebook groups. Exactly, and yeah. Okay. In the menu you can find a really good list of, uh, of groups. Okay, yeah. So do that also in advance, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. But I was wondering, uh, like for example, for non-EU students, does it is it the same for them, or do they get some additional help? Because I can imagine it's maybe they're coming from further away, or it's maybe harder for them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's why we do offer some rooms for our non-EU students every year. Okay. We have a contract with one of our housing corporations, so uh, we do offer them some rooms. Okay. Uh, these rooms are furnished, which is really That's nice. nice. But keep in mind that these rooms do have a fixed contract date. So okay. it's either for one semester of a change or for one year for full degree students. So not for your whole uh, Not for studies. your whole period, no. Okay. Not for four years. After you've lived here for half a year or for a year, it's way easier to find a room Exactly. Yourself. That's what I was going to say. Like, yeah. you've been here, you know the you city. You know the city, you have some friends. So exactly. you can find a room way easier yourself. Okay. Some of these rooms are less. Of course, we do offer them to our EU students. Oh, okay, so they can also use this if they're... Yeah, okay, that's yeah. nice. But uh, how do they apply for them? Well, they receive an email from our student office with their okay. personal login details to the website. And oh, that's okay. where they can find the rooms. But uh, for both non-EU and EU students, like, they're probably something they have to really keep and uh, pay attention to when mm -hmm. trying to find a room. Well, mm, watch out for scammers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we have a lot of frauds in Breda. Okay. Um, so if you don't trust anything, if something feels suspicious, just reach out to us uh, and we can always help you. If someone offers you a room just out of the blue, that's pretty weird. Don't oh, trust yes. it. Yeah. Or for example, if someone offers you a room uh, from a Facebook account, 
that looks really suspicious. For example, a new account without any friends. Yeah, you know that's kind of fake. You know right? that's fake. Yeah, exactly. Or if they start commenting beneath your pictures, just randomly. Okay. So Don't yeah, that's it. that's actually good tips. <laughs> yes. Okay. So if you have a situation like that, you can always send an email to accommodation at puyas.nl if you don't trust it, so we can take uh, a look at it. And help. Okay, that's really nice. And another tip, keep in mind that it's perfectly fine if your room is not within walking distance from just campus. Just gonna ask, like, is it hard to, uh, if it's somewhere, yeah, not close to campus, is it hard to get to campus or... Don't worry about that, because Dutch people love to cycle. That's true. Um, and Breda is not a big city, so don't worry about that. To give you some more information about what the rooms look like, uh, like in the Netherlands, most of the um, accommodations have like single student rooms okay and then the kitchen the bathroom and the living room are shared okay and most of the times the rooms are not furnished so there won't be any furniture uh, there yet for example there will be no bed or no desk but uh, we have plenty of do-it-yourself stores like second-hand stores and websites to get it cheaper there are also a lot of facebook groups where you can get your furniture and of course good old ikea around course, the corner good so one. don't worry about that but of course the rooms for our non-eu students oh. they are furnished yeah like you just mentioned yeah, before exactly okay. but what are like the kind of the price range that you can expect from renting mm -hmm. in breda unfortunately housing is not cheap in the netherlands oh, okay so in breda we would say houses cost between 400 and 600 euros per month okay but keep in mind that you do also need to pay a deposit and oh, an additional yeah. fee in your first month. Just you get it back when you move you out. You get it back if exactly. you move out, exactly, yeah. Okay, Peen, that's a lot of good information. That will probably help a lot of students that are in their process, but any last advice? Just okay. start looking on time. Uh, come to Breda a few days before your program starts. It's exciting, but let me tell you, it's all worth it. So For sure it is. Yes, so good luck to all of the students. And if they have any questions left, they can always reach out to us via accommodation at buas.nl. We're always here to help. Thank you so much. This was so helpful. And I think all the students will uh, use this information <laughs> in their process. Well, that sounds good. Happy to help. <laughs> So guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And just remember that if you have any additional questions or you need more help to contact the student office. But you should watch the next episode because there we're gonna talk to Tien again and she's gonna tell us everything about applying for a visa. So see you guys there.